What is up everyone? I am back with another tutorial. On this one we have an Asus Transformer Book Flip. It's the one that flips all the way back, which you can use as a tablet. So what we're doing here is we are upgrading the SSD inside here. So we have this replacement, which is a Micron 256 SSD. I believe there's already a 128 inside here. So we need to double up the memory on this transformer book. And this model is the T300L. So pretty simple stuff. Face it on its back. I have a Phillips screwdriver and a pry tool. That's all you pretty much need. So let's go ahead and remove 10 of these screws that are all around the side. So once the screws are all off, grab your pry tool. I'm just gonna start over here. Basically just find the opening and just start lifting up slowly. In here where the latches kind of release themselves. There we go, there's the back plate off of this. So this is what it looks like. Got our hard drive here. And our battery is in the back. So we can actually just disable this battery by lifting this up. Just like so. So just pop this off to disable the battery. And then from there we can actually remove this hard drive. Don't think there's any space for uh, M.2 anywhere. This looks like the Wi-Fi antenna which is actually popped up. Yeah, I'm not too sure where the RAM is in this unit. It might be underneath the hard drive. So you've got a screw there. I believe there should be another screw there but it's missing. Oh, there's another screw at the top here. something here that I can unscrew from the board here. This is actually a warranty seal. This thing has any warranty anymore, but there is. I didn't see the screw here for the warranty seal. Pretty straightforward. Um, you need to remove the screws from this uh, SSD mount, hard drive mount. So now we've got a hard drive. We can just uh, unplug this from here, which seems to be really difficult to do for some reason. Just pull the SATA connection off. There we go. So this hard drive is actually only 120 gigs, which is hardly anything in today's standards anyway. Um, I still don't know where the RAM is. I think the RAM is on this side, potentially. The shield is blocking it. Oh, there we go. There's the RAM. We've only got one slot here. This is... No, wait. Is there only one slot? I think there's another slot. Somewhere. Maybe underneath the motherboard. Because this does have um, 12 gigs of RAM inside of this. I only see one slot. This is 8 gigs, so there's another 2 gigs somewhere hidden, possibly on the other end of this motherboard, which is um, difficult to get to without taking off every screw. So this looks like it's been um, done before, because I see some screws missing on some of this uh, on the motherboard here, so I think this has already been opened. 
previously by someone else. Now let's put on our Micron 256. Now we need to screw it on to this first. Make sure you put it in the right, um, the right way in. So the label facing down. I'm just going to screw it back in. screws are going to go back, there's only three screws to this. Make sure you've aligned everything back together. Right, and now we can connect, oh, connect our battery. Just plug it back in like this, just, should just snap on. Um, we can put the back plate back on. And then just basically just put all the screws back in and then we can um, go on to BIOS after that. Right, so the next thing that we need to do is install a fresh copy of Windows. So grab your USB stick with Windows software on. And once I turn this on, we need to uh, go in straight into BIOS mode. So press delete. Just go ahead and go on to boot. We want to uh, choose the boot option to our USB with Windows on. So once you selected that, we can save and exit. And now it's loaded our USB and we want to choose the 64-bit Windows 10 setup. So now the Windows setup has loaded, I'm just going to choose the language and keyboard of my choice. Just click install now. Just accept the terms and conditions. Click next and I'm going to choose custom install. And I can see the 256 drive here. I'm just going to format this. So I don't think it's in the right file format. Okay, so I need to change the format of this drive in order to be able to do anything. And now I'm going to click Partition 1 and just click Next. And there we go, it's now installed in Windows 10. So a pretty straightforward uh, fix for this. Just make sure you have a Windows 10 or Windows 11 um, installation USB. So now all we have to do is just wait until this uh, Windows finishes installing, which shouldn't take too long because it's a SSD. So there you go, that is how you install a SSD onto the Asus Transformer Flipbook T300L. And if this tutorial has been useful, then please give the video a like and if you do have any questions, then just comment down below. And I'll see you again on another video.